Good day, guys. Well, I've got a very special video for you today, and I'm joined by Julie Davis, who is the NCHA Director for Memberships. And uh, Julie, welcome. Thanks. If you're going to be joining the NCHA or get involved, the first thing you, I guess you're going to do is understand the classes. An amateur, I guess, is the first class. What, what defines an amateur? An amateur is um, someone that's not involved in the industry. They're not, um, they don't work in the industry. They typically have um, outside um, and, um, careers and they do this as a hobby, not as a living. Um, and that's typically your typical amateur rider. Right, so when you say work in the industry, you mean work in the training of horses? Right, either training or, um, they're either training or they're working for, um, a trainer. They might not be actually doing the actual training, but yep. they're they're making a living a stride. Right. Or they're married to a trainer or the child of a trainer. They're working on the premises of a trainer. Um, and those are people that really work in the industry or right. are involved in the industry by relationship and they are not eligible to be amateurs. Right. So if you were married to a trainer, that would make you, you'd have to be a non-pro, is that right? Yes. You would be a non-pro. And if you're, a, if you're a, a daughter or son of a trainer, uh, that would make you a non-pro as well? Yes. Not an amateur? Yes. Okay. And there's also an unlimited amateur. What's that? The unlimited amateur is um, typically for amateurs that have capped out of the earnings cap on the 50,000 amateur. Um, once you're over that 50,000 amateur, um, well, actually, it's, it's called a 50,000, but the amateur is actually 100,000 eligibility earnings mm -hmm. with a 50 50 split, which means you have to have less than 100,000 in lifetime earnings, lifetime eligibility, and then you have to have less than 50 for weekend and less than 50 for limited age. And what happens is that when you've capped out of that, then we have an unlimited amateur. And the unlimited amateur has a couple of different rules. If you're under the age of 60, then you can remain in the unlimited amateur until you've reached 100,000 in non-pro aged event money. And that's not like your regular lifetime, it's just mm -hmm. aged event non-pro money. And if you're over 60, there's no cap. As long as you're amateur eligible, which means you're eligible under all the amateur rules except for the money cap on the 50M, then you would be able to stay in the unlimited AM forever. If you're under age 60, once you hit that 100,000 cap, you would have to choose at, that, at the beginning of the next point year, you, um, you can choose to be, remain an unlimited amateur as long as you do not show in a non-pro um, event. The, the, let's go to the novice classes for the weekends. If if you've won a hundred, if you won the futurity, um, which is two hundred thousand, can you show that horse in the five novice on the weekends? Yes. Right. Okay. Yeah. Because that's if you don't have over five thousand in weekend, weekend eligibility. Right. Okay. Okay. Now, um, a five novice horse that hasn't won more than 5,000 in the weekend. Can that show in the 25,000 novice class? Yes. Yep, because it hasn't won more than that, right. more than that money. 